I'm going to present you uh, this experience, which is peer tutoring at school with migrant students in their cultural mentoring program. Uh, it needs to be said that it is, this is actually a part of a Euro European project. Uh, you have uh, over there our logo, uh, is INTO, which stands for Intercultural Mentoring Tools to Support Migrant Integration at School. Uh, it is also very important to know that uh, this project, um, in this project, we collaborate five uh, organizations: the University of Salamanca, the University of Lodz from Poland, uh, the University of Southampton in England, uh, Oxfam Italia, and um, the Center for Advanced Research and Development in Educational Technology, CARDET, from Cyprus. My index will be the follow, uh, a brief framework, a brief explanation of the key concepts, followed by our work, work hypothesis, the variables, the design and implementation of the program, uh, paying special attention, attention to the first stage, which was actually uh, uh, the University of Salamanca uh, was the leader of this work package, which is the design of the general legal analysis. And finally, the results of this. As a framework, we have to say that INTO project, which is Intercultural Mutual Tools to Support Migrant Integration at School, is a Comenius multilateral project uh, in which the leader is actually Oxfam Italia, and it aims to introduce in the primary country's secondary school context peer tutoring actions which could help migrant students in risk of either irrelevant school or school failure in order to improve not only their school performance but also their integration both in, at school and in, in society in general. Our key concepts are actually these three migrant students, intercultural education and peer tutoring. Uh, the migrant students are actually um, a result of uh, these huge uh, migration movements that we have been having through these uh, 10 to 15 last years. And when maybe 10 years ago we have maybe two, three or maybe five migrant students in all the school, now we can maybe have up to 10 or even 15 uh, migrant students in each classroom. So this is... Um, a situation that we really need to face. Uh, the intercultural education is actually a, um, a result of the immigrant students. So uh, this is actually why we we decided to, to take on this on this project. And in terms of peer tutoring, uh, we decided that the best uh, definition of this methodology is the one that David Goran gave in 2004, and he said that uh, this is actually a cooperative learning method based on the creation of a student couples within an asymmetric relationship, one of them will be the mentor and the other, uh, the other will be the mentee, always with a common aim, known and shared by everybody involved, like for example, the teaching and learning process of a specific subject. And this will take place uh, through a relationship between said students that actually will be planned by the teacher. In terms of our work hypothesis, it is actually that the kind of mentoring program designed as a part of the INTO project for migrant students in Greece will help them to improve their integration in the classroom and school environment and support a higher participation in their formative process, not just inside the school but in the society in general, decreasing early in school rates and this group, in the, of this group and improving their academic performance. Uh, I will talk briefly about the dependent variables, the independent and the control variables. In terms of the dependent variables, the most important are the level of integration in the school and in the society in the group of migrant students, uh, their rates in terms of early living school, absenteeism, uh, case retention, how many subjects have they failed, uh, the, also their school performance and the level of satisfaction with this program. The independent variable will be the type of mentoring program designed within the INTO project, and the control variables are, for example, the level of implication of the mentor students, the teachers, the level of motivation of the migrant students, the generation of the migrant. We need to take into account if it's a, a first migrant student, in which case it could probably uh, have a problem in terms of the language, 
or if it's a second generation, which in this, in this case will be uh, less likely to have that kind of problem. Also the type of school, the socioeconomic status of the, of the mentee's uh, family, and the level of the implication of, of these families as well. This is a rough design of the, stages, of the steps that we are taking in order to um, design and implement this, this program. We are now in the, in the transition from the first phase to the second. Actually, the first phase, uh, the University of Salamanca was the leader of that stage. And it was basically, uh, we uh, do our research in order to know uh, the general and international legal analysis. Uh, and more specifically, the legal analysis of the formative needs of the school and how to select both mentors and mentees. Uh, the second stage that we hope will be, will be beginning uh, soon, it is actually the, the training of the teachers and the, the rest of the educational school staff that will be, be involved in this, in this project. The third is uh, the training of men and selector of selection of mentors and the, um, how we make the pairs of mentor and this mentor with this uh, specific mentee. Uh, in a few months, we will uh, uh, start in the implementation of the intercultural peer mentoring program, and we will also uh, start. We will start the monitoring and evaluation of this of this model. And uh, now, I would like to focus our attention in the first step, which it has actually already finished. Uh, in each country involved in this project, we look for information about the following context. The educational system structures in general terms, uh, which means how the educational system is divided, how many levels do they have, what is the school performance in general, uh, the ascendance rate, the school performance rate, etc., etc. Then we, uh, we ask basically the same questions, uh, but, but in this case about specifically uh, migrant students. And also we try to to get to know what were the best practices of the methodology of peer tutoring in each country involved. Well, the first part, first, uh, first part uh, was, uh, of this uh, general analysis was based on a documentary research done in, ca in each country based basically on legislation from different ministries, not, not only in the Ministry of Education, different theses, uh, official reports from different organizations like the European Union, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the Education, Audiovisual and Cultural Executive Agency, and the INEE, which is here in uh, Spain, the Instituto Nacional de Evaluación Educativa, which will be the uh, National Research uh, Institute of um, Educational Evaluation. And also, we uh, look for uh, information in books and also journal articles. The second part of the NIRAS analysis was actually uh, done in terms of, of focus group meetings, uh, done in each partner country, in which experts uh, in intercultural education were invited. They actually explained to us what is the real situation of migrant students. We, before, we saw the documentary research and we knew about numbers. But now they explain to us how they live this intercultural education at the, in, the, in the classroom. What, what, the resource, we, sorry. what were their, their resources? Because here uh, we have a lot of laws that said this amount of money needs to go to the classrooms and sometimes, unfortunately, it does not go uh, to them. And how they face this challenge, challenge in their classrooms. And afterwards, uh, all the partners, we shared uh, all the collected data and saw not only their similarities, but also, most importantly, our differences. In terms of the results of the general analysis, we saw that the peer tutoring app is actually even though it's such high rated, it is actually kind of a new approach. It's not very used. Uh, in this, uh, the students uh, play a way more active role. It, it actually helps everybody, both mentors, mentees, and uh, even teachers. 
Uh, helping everybody actually helps them to have a higher self-esteem, uh, but this uh, kind of methodology actually needs uh, uh, some kind of training in order to prepare both teachers and mentors to, to, to be able to put this into practice. The most common things that emerge from the focus group in terms of the students were that uh, there is actually a widespread poor knowledge of the new language of the host society in terms of the, the migrant students. There is a lack of motivation for education all along, not just in mentor students, uh, sorry, migrant students, but in native students and unfortunately even sometimes in, in teachers. And unfortunately also, um, this migration movement sometimes come with problems of bullying and racism to, to these students. In terms of the school, uh, we need to take into account that a whole school approach is needed. We need to include teachers, teaching assistant administration, and even NGOs working with uh, schools. What it means is that uh, this kind of, of project won't be successful if from a uh, teacher body of 25, only five of them are involved. All of them need to be involved, while it's the majority. And also we need to consider the individual, individual student and individual school. We are now in the process of programming how we are going to um, do these kind of uh, mentors courses, but uh, it will be a rough idea and each country will have to adjust in terms of the other actually needs. That's why we have this phrase here that says one size does not fit all. And finally, in terms of our, our model, we need to be aware that of the cultural differences and the unique context of its country that was actually what I was just talking about. And a uh, specific training for all stakeholders involved in the program. And the model needs to celebrate diversity, not just seek integration. And that's it. This is our website. So if you have any, you, you want to know more, uh, you have a lot of information there. Thank you.